But right now, for a breaking news update in the high profile murder of a man on his way to work on the northwest side. 24 year old Zed Rodriguez Lara was robbed and murdered last month in the Dunning neighborhood. CBS 2's Darius Johnson is live at Chicago Police Headquarters where they announced charges this afternoon. Darius? Jim and Marie, good afternoon. Devontae Redman and Justin Calhoun were both out on parole at the time of the murder. Now police say they are facing new charges after surveillance video and cell phone data helped track them down. For the last 24 days, investigators with the Chicago Police Department have been working to learn who killed 24-year-old Zet Rodriguez Lara on May 10th in the Dunning neighborhood. The callous actions of these offenders left the victim's loved one and an entire community mourning the loss of a young father. A son, brother, and father to a six-month-old girl with another child on the way. This afternoon, police announced felony first-degree murder and armed robbery charges against 32-year-old Devontae Calhoun and 41-year-old Justin Redman. The victim was headed to work just after 7 a.m. when he was approached by Calhoun in the 3900 block of North Pittsburgh. Calhoun shot the victim and demanded money from him before fleeing on foot. Immediately after, police gathered this surveillance video that captured Calhoun and more video of Calhoun getting into a waiting vehicle with Redman. Detectives were able to obtain a license plate from the vehicle and homicide detectives learned that the vehicle was registered to a relative of Calhoun. This led to the arrest of Devontae Calhoun and his brother the day after the murder. The two were released the next day as police continued to gather evidence. Eventually, cell phone evidence led them back to Devontae Calhoun and later Justin Redman. Calhoun's cell phone was a crucial piece of evidence as detectives were able to place Calhoun in the 3900 block of North Pittsburgh at the time the murder occurred. Call data records from Redman's phone also placed him at the location of the murder at the time of occurrence. 38th Ward Alderman Nicholas Pizzato was also in attendance, not only to thank police, but those in his ward. The neighborhood came up big with the uh, video evidence and uh, ring camera and whatever else, so appreciate everybody in the neighborhood helping out. The two had their first court appearance earlier this afternoon. Both of them are being held with status hearings that are set for later this week and for June 25th. We're live at Chicago Police Headquarters this afternoon. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS2 News.